The Dial Up Chronicles. This is the Dial Up Chronicles, and today we're going to be surfing the web with 16 colors. Alright guys, so today we're going to be focusing on this computer. Okay guys, real quick, this is the computer I'm using right now with the 16 colors. And I'm not using this exterior modem anymore because now that the speakers are working, you can hear the dial-up sound in the mo it has a modem in here. And I'll demonstrate that at some point. We're gonna play with this one today and just surf some random websites and some pre-selected websites that I found surfing um, randomly. And we're gonna see what it looks like, how fun it is with 16 colors. So you can see right away with 16-bit color, you see this right here, but the read, write, and web, you can see that just doesn't look exactly what it's supposed to. We have some things going on here that aren't going on in my other computer right now. For some reason, the speed band is working, so that's good. And again, if you saw my last video using this computer, I'm at 115, 200 beeps, which what I looked up online is just 14.4K. But at this point, it really doesn't seem to matter what the speed is too much. From my experience, just not timing anything just actually doing it and experiencing it i don't really notice a difference between 14.4 or 33.6 which because of the way the phone lines are you can't get any any faster than 33.6 now so i'm gonna bring this down and i'm really excited to share this with you i got some new mail and i'm gonna read it with you. so let's see what i got connected to Juno's computers and I'm transferring the mail. It's happening quick, quick. Oh, good. Yes, and we have sound, so we get cool stuff like that. Two messages received. Okay. Oh, wow. Dear Dialog Chronicles, I found the real way to connect online on Dreamcast. For more information, watch this video on this link. Oh man, that's so cool. Okay, and he sends another one. Let me reply to him. So let's hit reply. Okay. Here, so and so, because I'm just, see, I just never know if people want me to say it or not on there, on the, on the video, so. Thank you so much. Just seeing this, we'll check it out. Okay, sincerely, Dial Up Chronicles. So, I'm only a few days late on this. That's the thing, I only check my email on these old computers and I don't necessarily get on every day. So, I'm gonna send this to you. Title Dreamcast Online. Should just be able to hit send. I don't know why my brain is, there we go, send mail. I did not see that. Get and send mail now. Okay. So it should work, though sometimes it doesn't. I used to have CompuServe, so CompuServe always wants to start up on this computer. And Netscape automatically starts up. On my other computer, I had it go straight to Wibby. This one does not. Hopefully we'll randomly find some websites with sound. That would be really fun. 
So for now, I'm just going to hit surprise me. Oh, I didn't hit it. Okay, and this happens a lot. You get websites that just don't work anymore because they don't have all the things that they need to make it work. Whatever, Java. I always love seeing that in actually work. Let's hit it again. Hit it again. Okay. Nope. getting something decode systems okay this looks kind of cool I'm gonna add it as a bookmark and we'll just briefly look through it decode systems is a consultancy and information resource center for various communication computer and electronic subjects calculators and computers wanted if you have any old calculators or computer made by Hewlett Packard Built before 1985 that need a new home, I'm interested in talking to you. Ooh. GPS service interruptions. This is interesting. This looks like something worth kind of looking at. This is what I love about doing the dial-up too, is this is a website I wouldn't even think to look for if I wasn't using the Wibby. So that's kind of cool about Wibby.me hitting the surprise me. You just, you never know what you're going to get. My computer rescue page is here. Let's click on that. Classic computer rescue. I rescue classic and vintage computers from closets, attics, basements, and other storage locations before they end up in a scrapyard or a landfill. I can provide a good home for these old machines. Where they will be clean, repaired, and restored to operating condition before being placed in a virtual computer museum. I'd like, uh, I'd like to um, talk to this guy. Maybe he can send me a computer. No, his are too old for me. Before 1985. Okay. I'm just kind of scrolling down this page. These, I guess, are specific things he's looking for. Microprocessor training and evaluation. See, look at that picture. That's what 16 colors will get you. Beautiful. Calculators. Okay. Please send me an email. Operations, items wanted. I love watching this end move. Oh, I wonder what happens if I click on it. Huh. Looks like it made something happen by clicking on it. All right, look at these beautiful pictures. are bad but $16 we got if you have an old calculator a desk drawer stored away somewhere and it's made by HP uh, okay cool cool Hewlett Packard 9830 computer almost looks like a drawing huh I mean you know that should be a real picture I think but it looks anyway okay I think we've done enough on this site global positioning system GPS Four satellites and three orbital planes, 55 degree inclination, controlled by U.S. Air Force Base at Falcon AFB, Colorado. Okay. Some information. Updated January 23rd, 2010. I wonder if it 
says at the bottom of the website. Ooh, last revised May 22nd, 2020. That's not, that's pretty recent. Let's hit the home button. Let's do one or two more here, and then I want to show you some that I found playing around earlier. A JavaScript error. Swopswopnet.com. You get a lot of these. Now see, pictures like this don't have any problem. It would look the same on 256 colors as it does with 16 bit colors on something like this. Words of wisdom and folly by and about barbers and hair. Don't ask the barber whether you need a haircut. Oh, this must have a lot of text because see how it just already has all that scrolling power. Barber's Maxim. You can only scalp a customer once. But you can give them a haircut every two weeks. Work rule. Any employee who smokes Spanish cigars, uses liquor in any form, or frequents pool in public halls, or gets shaved in a barber shop will give me good reasons to suspect his worth, intentions, integrity, and honesty. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, you can learn to draw cartoons with this book. Let's do that. Oh, man. 66666. Six, 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 six. <laughs> What's up with that? Transferring data. Okay, we're going to stop. Hit home. And last time. And then we're going to go to Internet Explorer. Halakeld. Almost always add a bookmark because I know I'll never get back to it. If I want to get back to these websites that I find. Sorry, kind of I have this sideways thing going. Oh my goodness, what is this? What is that? I think I know what it is. All right, again, we got these beautiful pictures in 16-bit colors. They're amazing. Click here. These web pages were put together in the 1990s in pre-broadband days, so images were kept small to speed up load times. This site has been left online. Anyone who might find you group cards. UK rock art. Oh. Okay. Click here for Northern Traditions. Despite the changing face of Britain and the busy pace of modern life, a significant number of old customs and traditions are still kept alive in towns and villages around the British Isles. Local pride in these traditions is often. Yeah, this website's coming up fast. So you can definitely tell this was made in the 90s, like they said. All that came up before I could finish reading that sentence I was reading. Gut, Guthland Plow Slots. We're Goodland Leaf Stots combed again, all ducked we ribbons fair. 15th January 2000 was a cold but bright winter's day in Gothlatham village on the New York malls. At around 10 a.m. a small crowd had gathered outside the village reading room where the men and young lads of the Gothland Plow Stots were getting ready. On this occasion to mark the new millennium, they were joined by two visiting sword dance teams, the Celeport Sword Dancers, 
from Newcastle and Dan's group Lange Wappa. I travelled all the way from Antwerp. Okay. Now this is taking a little bit longer. These pictures are amazing. Look at that dude drumming. Okay. I think that's enough of this. I'm gonna hit stop. I'm gonna bring this down. No, I don't want to connect to CompuServe because CompuServe doesn't work. Yahoo!